going to be on reading fluency. Reading fluency is a wonderful supplemental activity to your core reading program. Of course, fluency um, entails reading accuracy, reading with expression, and reading speed. The goal of the lesson today will be to focus on reading with expression. So um, something interesting that I extracted from the reading is that there is much um, controversy over um, how reading with expression links to comprehension, and researchers are thinking that there is a very strong correlation between reading with expression and overall comprehension. So I thought that I would make that the focus of this lesson. Um, before I would dive into providing my students with a script and start practicing, I would, of course, provide them with choice um, on determining which script they would like to select, and also I would make sure that their scripts are at their reading level. So the reading level of the script will be at D, E, and F, because it's a first grade classroom, and I would pre-teach the scripts in their guided reading groups um, earlier in the week, and during this time we would uh, look at text structure, we would look at the plot, the setting, the characters, and then we would delve into the text, identifying uh, letters and phonemes and making sure that children were familiar with all of their unknown words, check in, make sure that their unknown words are very accessible and that they're reading them accurately, um, helping them make sure that they have contextual understanding of all of their unknown words. And then also, during their guided reading time, give them practice with echo reading. It would be a time for me to really model um, phrasing of um, reading fluency, which evidently is very um, powerful as well. So really prepare them with choice, uh, prepare them with something that's mo motivating. Um, and also for my high students, I would give them the opportunity to write their own script if that's something that they are interested in doing. Um, as we move into the actual um, learning the script in a collaborative group on their own more independently, um, I would give them opportunities for peer assessment and um, perhaps group to group assessment um, and have rubrics where the children have checklists or you know, a rubric, checklist or rubric, depending on whatever each group felt most comfortable with, providing um, assessment not only orally, but also giving them an opportunity to link writing to their language and then passing uh, the assessment checklist or rubric to their friends. And I would also do that during our um, guided practice as well. Finally, um, the performance phase of Reader's Theater is um, exciting for everybody. Um, we could invite other classrooms or perhaps um, parents to come in and uh, maybe the first graders would want to visit a preschool and put on a performance for uh, a local preschool. The uh, final assessment could be um, writing about their reading experience and their performance experience in their journals, um, illustrating, or we could do um, observation of the performance after we watch the video, the children could write a response to the 